hello so we're on day two working from home today um i had yesterday off um it's a monday and it's come back feeling quite intense um so it was monday the 16th is when we had the update from the pm um and covid19 has kind of changed everything um it's got a lot more serious than i think everyone thought it would in the, here in the uk anyway and I think it's impacted us quite a lot. Um, working from home is fine, but there's a lot of conversations and it feels like we're talking a lot without necessarily much work getting done. Um, it's f 18 minutes past four and I couldn't tell you what I've done today, apart from a lot of conversations with people. Um, it's all good, of course, but yeah, feeling it a bit today. Um, yeah ready to switch off for the day, have an evening, sleep and start the day fresh tomorrow, hopefully get some good work done. Um, but yeah, day two working from home. I was actually in the office this morning, so that's a bit, I cheated a little bit, but very weird not speaking to everyone every day. We're a social team, so it's a different way of working for us, but we'll check in for day three out of possibly, what, two, three months? We'll see. Speak tomorrow. Hi everyone, so I've just completed day two of working from home. Um, today was quite tough. I have only been in my role about a week or so, um, and I was helping out with uploading some content, and I just had some major technical difficulties. So I was very aware that all of my team are under it, obviously, producing content at the moment, and it just would have been really helpful if I could just literally nip across to the desk next door to me and say, please can you help me out? Um, luckily one of my superior colleagues stepped in and helped me, but it was a lot of back and forth, um, disruption to her day as well, and um, it was it was tough trying to explain the difficulties that I was having over Slack. Sorry if you can hear my cat in the background. Um, so yeah, that was quite tough, and I definitely it definitely highlighted that I was alone, I guess, at home. Um, obviously I can reach out to anybody, but, um, yeah, I did, I didn't feel as productive today and it made me a little bit anxious about tomorrow. Um, but it also just proved that, like, if there is a problem, we can all step in and help each other, regardless of where we are, um, and where we're working. So, um, that was good. I did get out for a walk on my lunch break too, um, which I really enjoyed. And I'm lucky enough to have an office space in my house, so, um, I can just shut my computer down and leave that space for the rest of um, the evening and have some time to myself. So yeah, tomorrow is another day. Hello, so it's day three of working from home and today was a really intense day. There was just a lot of work that needed to be done and I realized how easy it is to not move when you're working from home, when you don't have colleagues to prompt you to get up and make a tea. I was very lucky that I am currently at home working with my partner, so he also is working from home. And he gave me a little gentle nudge this morning when I was really wired in and focusing to just get up and make a drink and just move a little bit. So I'm really grateful for that. And I can really understand how if you're completely by yourself all day, that's very easy to forget to eat, drink, move. So yeah, I think one of the tips that someone gave me was to set a timer to get up every now and then and stretch your legs and go make a drink and I think that is a really good idea if you've got no one at home with you is to definitely set yourself a little reminder now and then to get up and move and do something. I managed to get out on my lunch break again, went for a walk and again found that very helpful and yeah I'm now going to have a nice bath and switch off from work. Good evening, so I have just completed day two of working from home because of the coronavirus outbreak. Uh, I say day two, it was actually uh, Friday the 13th <laughs> that we transitioned our stuff. So I've taken my monitor home um, and all my other office bits. I left my chair. I, might, I am considering maybe guessing the chair. I don't know. It's just the storage on that. Um, a, a, a girl in our office posted on the chat today that she went and got her chair and really like has no regrets because obviously office chairs are way more comfy than dining room table chairs um but yeah so far it's, it's been okay i 
I, I, I do enjoy working from home because there are good good things like when you log off your home you don't have to commute uh I've got a dog so I can take Jess out on lunch and I can take her out before work I've been trying to make sure I stick to my usual routine so I've still been getting up give or take pretty much the same time just to allow myself to kind of wake up take Jess out um I'm the type of person that when my routine is disrupted I get quite anxious uh so for me it's been really important to try and make sure that that's quite a constant thing so for example tonight when I just finished work and I logged off I've done my workout which is something I'd usually do when I when I get in from work um I'm definitely learning that I am the type of person that gets their energy from other people though I do feel a bit flat at the moment and I think that's just a given I think everyone feels quite flat because it's weird like we're all in isolation uh it feels like you you can't leave your house it feels like everything's going into lockdown uh I was supposed to be seeing a friend tomorrow and we're we're all taking it quite seriously like I I, we're not going to see each other because uh, I think the announcement sort of advice like stay away from pubs etc and all of that um so yeah that's weird our team though are doing two cat two video catch-up calls a day which is really really good Uh, just to sort of see how the workload is and also just to check in with each other I think moving forward though what I am going to try and make a conscious effort of doing is scheduling video calls with other departments so there are people that I don't necessarily work with but that I would see at work and have a conversation with and talk to that I'm probably not going to get that interaction with unless I set up like a video call to check in it might not necessarily be fully work related as in you know, it might not be a meeting as such about something with a sole aim of, okay, so, you know, I'm doing this, you're doing that. It might just literally be to, to check in. But given that our company, Happy Fool, is all about the promotion of, of good mental health, uh, they are very much encouraging you to do that uh, during work time. You know, it is important to check in with, with people and make sure that they're okay. As I said earlier, <clears throat> I feel a bit flat and, and I'm not, I know I'm not the only one to, to sort of feel that way at the moment. Um, my mum is working from home tomorrow, so she works for Siemens Healthcare and they've announced that they, um, are sort of going to be working from home from, from, from the, for the foreseeable where possible. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, we are going to look to extend our dining room table because I think she'll also have her monitor and I've got mine on the table as well. So we're just going to try logistically make it sure it works. Uh, that will be fun living and working with my mum <laughs> and not going out socially. I just have to make sure we're fully stocked on all the goods. Um, but yeah, as I say, it's, it, I, I've really tried to, to stick to my routine. I think that's been a key thing. Getting out on my lunch has been really useful with Jess, my dog. Um, yeah, and, and just I feel like I've been checking in more with people on my phone, like my friends and um yeah but but then equally I don't want to be spending my whole evening on my phone to to stay in touch with people because there are still things that I want to do with my evenings without constantly being in a social bubble if anything it might be a good time like this whole whole thing like I want to I want to finish the book I'm reading at the moment that I keep putting off and it might actually just give me some time to focus on myself a little bit more but yeah, it's been interesting. I will keep you all posted moving forward. Sorry, this is the only video I've done. I think we're supposed to be doing daily ones. Oh, the other thing that I'm really enjoying is um, when I go to work, I wear makeup. And I haven't been wearing any makeup all week. That's been great. Um, I know I look a bit rubbish, but it it's just nice to scrape the hair back. I'm sure all girls can relate, all those that wear makeup. Just scrape the hair back, not wear makeup be in slob clothes um, and drink lots of tea. <laughs> anyway, I'll keep you all posted and yeah, hopefully the next video I do, um, I sound a bit more upbeat. It's all just a bit weird. It's all just a bit surreal at the moment. So yeah, bye.